This book is probably turning into one of my favorites. The French Art of Not Trying Too Hard by Olivia Pouriot. I've been a bit in a slump with reading and I, I'm reading like five books or something like that at the moment. Like I'm not reading them but I started a bunch of books and they're all like different genres, different kinds of books and I kind of stopped. I just felt so unmotivated and that definitely translated into a lot of other regions of my life. I feel like this book is such a good way of getting back into it because it just talks about people that learned a way of getting to their goals and reaching who they want to be. It's so beautifully written. I love it when a lot of philosophers and writers and people of all kinds are mentioned in a book and like you you learn from a lot of minds. You see a lot of perspectives and I love that. In the chapter I'm in it's talking about how you can only be lost when you hesitate. You have to just keep going and keep continuing even though you don't maybe know where you're going but you just have to keep continuing in order to get somewhere. Moving is still better than stagnation like it's better to go somewhere even though you don't know where you're going than just staying in place or going back to where you were and I don't know I love it. So the French art of not trying too hard. It's it's a Tuesday. I I have one goal for the day, getting out of bed, which I kind of am, but like it's more like a I have to leave the house. I have to I have to do something. I have to be productive with myself. Truly, I didn't leave my bed for a few days. It's not good to just stay put and avoid everything because maybe you just feel lost and don't know where you're going. That's definitely what I'm feeling. I feel lost, but I feel like I am avoiding it. I'm avoiding life because I don't know what I want to do and where to go. Yeah, I gotta leave my bed. I gotta leave my bed. So I started my morning very slowly. I'm feeling a little sick. So I just made a coffee and thought I'll read a little and see how my morning goes. Maybe I'll start feeling better. Maybe I'll go on a little run. Maybe I'll get ready for a run. I haven't been on one in a while. September has been really nice weather-wise, so I might just enjoy it as long as it lasts. It felt so good and I cut my hair. It's still drying but I think I did a decent job, at least on the bangs, which is the most important part. I've been traumatized before but I think it looks fine. I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm, I've been growing it out but anytime summer ends I, I don't know I want to cut it off. I don't know why but anytime the seasons change I, I want to change something up too. I don't know if I wouldn't regret it maybe. Just had breakfast and I have a lunch date with my boyfriend, which is gonna be good for me to just get out, so I have a reason to just leave at the house at least a little more. Today is one of those days on which I'm, I feel like I'm getting better, or at least it's a good day. But I have been, I had a little bad day, it's a bad week last week for sure. I didn't even leave my bed for like five days straight, first of all. And then when I tried to get myself out of the house. I just had really bad experiences and I felt so uncomfortable. I didn't even feel real. Like I felt like, I just felt like I had to do these things, but almost like it's textbook wise. Like, oh, if I do this, I will feel better, but I didn't, I didn't. But today is definitely one of those days on which I, I had a moment where I thought to myself, I am so happy right now. Like. I felt like everything is worth this one moment where I felt so good and so happy. So yeah, I've been derealizing, not being very present. I felt like a Sims character in a game, which I'm pretty sure is a conspiracy theory to that. Now, I don't believe in that. I don't know why I had to say that now, but I don't, I'm not a believer of thinking we're all in a Sims simulation, but I've been feeling like one. I don't know what that says, but I, I have these moments where I feel like I'm in a computer game 
every now and then like it's just when I feel now I know I have to do things I but they feel like there's no purpose to them that's been my last few days but today is different I am just trying to have a good day currently getting ready or I mean I'm almost ready I'm about to leave but I wanted to show you what arrived yesterday evening and I've been waiting for these I got the silver on its sucker tiger Mexico 66 I've been looking at the page for the past month and a half at least 20 times a day I'm not I'm not even kidding I looked so often I saw that they restocked and I got, immediately I got them. I still can't believe I have them. I'm gonna wear them. With this outfit, I think, I feel like silver goes with pretty much everything. And they wear a neat. Because I have like two sneakers left and they're both, like the sole of the sneakers are kind of falling off. Like I was in desperate need for new ones. I'll put them on and we're gonna catch a train. I almost fell back into the habit of hiding from the world in my bed. We're just rotting in here. We have to get up. Okay, good morning. It's Wednesday. I made it up earlier today. I woke up at 7 a.m. But I made it out of bed at like 8 right now. But, you know, it's really, it's the thought that counts. That I made it up at 7 a.m. That's really special. Anyway, there's some new skincare to try. I'm not really good with skincare. My skin is very sensitive. And so I don't use a lot of stuff. Only like the casuals like toner and moisturizer. But it's fun to try some new stuff. The thing with my skin is that it's the one thing that really, it shows what's going on in the inside. So when my skin is bad, you know something is up. We have some stuff by the brand Madara. Some body and face oils. Super C Smart Nutrient Beauty Capsules. Well, I'll tell you about yesterday. I didn't film anymore because I got home and I finished Supernatural's last season. I've been laying off watching the last season, mostly because I loved that series. It's one of my favorites. If I'm really attached to a series, like Supernatural, for example, I cannot finish it. Because when it's over, I feel like that's where you draw like the line, that's where you put the dots. And I hate that. Like, I want everything to exist with me, so like I want it to live with me and not to end at a certain point of my life. And so yeah, I have been laying that off, but I kind of, I just had to watch the last season at one point. I don't know if I like the ending, I don't know if I want to get really into that right now. I feel like it was just very rushed and I, I have so many questions, but I'm not gonna put that into any, like that's just too much right now that <laughs> I'm not gonna talk so much about Supernatural. I'm meeting up with a friend for coffee today. I'm so excited because we haven't seen each other since June. I feel like I, I need to catch up with my friends again. So today I'm meeting up with Sonda, which is a very dear friend of mine. Is there a point of using so much product on your face? I really stand by the saying, less is more. I feel like I'm definitely that kind of person. I feel good, you know, I think skincare has this effect on you that you just feel good because you feel like you did something for yourself. But I also feel like I've been talking for way too much and I should make a coffee and like get dressed because I'm not wearing pants right now. You have me wrapped around your finger and I can't seem to leave. Baby, let me breathe Please don't be naive You got me 
staying a little longer Oh, you're so cute to me Please be careful Just want you here with me But I don't mind If you don't want me to sleep my car and I just took a warm shower I'm obliterated like I'm I need to fall into bed but I wanted to show you before I fall into bed Sunza was in Korea for the month of August and she got me this little bracelet which I think is so cute and it fits very well I always wear a few bracelets that I just got gifted and I always wear them so I feel like it just fits perfectly it just fits so good so I love it thanks again I love her so much. I read a lot today. Today was definitely an up and down. My life is still so, so chaotic and I have no idea how to get out of it. We had really nice talks. I just feel like there's just no answers to a bunch of questions I have in life. But you know what, we'll take it day by day. We left the bed and that is a success. But I'll end the vlog here. And I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself. Love you. I'll see you soon. Bye.